Perfection strikes my knuckles, a meter thick in increments of five. She bandages the blue that blossoms like wrinkled forget-me-nots, self-contrived, pressing its creases until I've mimicked her, periodically perpetuating a mannequin, all with a smile stitched onto my face, plastered happiness, emulated in the synced movement of the lips and fingers articulated to wave. Perfection indoctrinates the epitome of both idolization and toxicity. I admire her, yet am a slave to her criticism declared creatively as she takes on the form of tormentor, dictator, sculptor, chipping away at my pride, puppeteering my caspately cubic concrete lines. Perfection, with her poise and quintessentially manicured fingernails, pokes and prods at me like a lab experiment gone wrong. She recalibrates me like I am her scientific calculator, stubbornly displaying error, too afraid, too much of a coward to admit the absence of an answer. Perfection. The definition of success, the need to impress, I digress. The object of my desires, she looks down upon me. Why am I so uninspired? Despite the lists and schedules and compartmentalized the life, I've spent hours upon hours building upon software, systematically procrastinating my six o'clock meeting with perfection. Time is taking a paradigm shift in behavior until my interview with failure where I see that my future is just a simple fantasy. My future is assuming of me that I have a plan, a plan to blindly build the perfect life devoid of meaning, university, financial stability, working a dead end job, get married, have kids before the age of 30. These are the expectancies. The seasons will blur to the day where I realize I won't be living, just merely existing. I will look at perfection and see that she is just as flawed as the rest of us. The aspiration for perfection becomes the weapon to self-destruction. I haven't had any real life experiences yet. I haven't experienced life yet. I'm expected to know what I want to do for the rest of it. Expectations set too high. My fingers can't even graze those numbers that so inherently define me. I'm constantly in a haze until perfection slaps me across the face. Perfection is subjective. It is defined distinctively by one's own resolve as to what they perceive to be pinnacles. My fathomed embodiment of perfection, she manifests herself differently in each and every one of us, shape-shifting her attitude, modified to adapt to her victim's relationship. Perfection sticks pins and needles in my shoes and expects me to dance to a choreography I don't know. When I bleed, she says, forget me not, for I will be by your side every morrow. Perfection, I can't live up to your standards. You may print immaculate bruises onto my hands. You may order me to smile and wave my tongue tied, but mark my words. This is not an act of obedience, but of defiance. This is me bidding you goodbye.